Trinidad and Tobago will have to invest a minimum of $3 billion to make it a competitive player in the technical and vocational realm. The estimation comes from chairman of the MIC Institute, Professor Clement Imbe, who made the statement while appearing before a joint select committee of parliament. He said the figure is a far cry from the kind of investment currently being made. Korea was an agrarian economy. The phone that you are probably using was made in South Korea. Probably drive a car from them. You probably play a, a, a music on something from them. They spent several percentage points of their GDP on innovation. In Toronto Bigger, we spend a small fraction, a small fraction. You have to put a point and a zero before you could get the figure. And as the Ministry of Education prepares to roll out its national education policy, Acting Permanent Secretary Leno Batiste Simmons gave the assurance that it will include a more direct focus on innovation. One of the things we would have done is that we'd have done at least two national consultations, which would have weighed heavily with respect to the TVET. So we know that we have included within that those areas, the tertiary and the TVET. We looked at the ECCE and then we are trying to see how best we can bring it all under the Education Act. So those are areas that are going to, as you said, are going to be prominent spaced. 